So let's look at this unit circle. And we said that um, unit circle, the radius is one. Okay. Look at this right triangle in here. And if I put my theta in here, the cosine of x is sine, the cosine, the uh, horizontal distance from this um, angle. So this cosine theta and the vertical distance sine theta. And now from this picture, you can clearly see that sine squared of theta, sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta is the equals to the square of the hypotenuse, that is one square of one, one square is one. So we also consider that, let me go to the next page from here because I need room. So, so far we know that sine square theta plus cosine square theta equals to one. And also on the instructional video that we saw on WebAssign, you uh, notice that if you divide both sides of this equation by sine squared of theta, just bear with me, then you have one plus uh, cosine squared divided by sine squared is cotangent squared of theta equals to one over sine squared is cosecant, cosecant squared of theta. Well, guess what? From here, you can just rearrange and claim that this is the same as cosecant squared of theta minus cotangent squared of theta equals to one. You can also claim that, um, let's say one minus cosecant squared of theta equals to minus cotangent squared of theta. So you probably think that, okay, is that necessary? Uh, no, but, but you know, this is algebra. We can rearrange things and have different identities. Same thing, uh, let me go to the next page. If we go to um, say, okay, if I have sine squared of theta plus cosine squared theta equals to one, and we divide everything by cosine squared of theta. Okay, sine squared of theta or cosine squared of theta is tangent squared of theta. So tangent squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta or cosine squared of theta is just a one equals. And now I have one over cosine squared of theta is secant squared of theta. I can rearrange and play with this and claim that this is the same as secant squared of theta minus tangent squared of theta equals to one. Or you could claim that tangent squared of theta minus secant squared of theta equals to negative one and on and on. So in this level of math, we are expected to be able to play with these identities and get to uh, different conclusions. So here is the problem that was emailed to me. Okay. Uh, secant squared of, secant squared of 57 degrees, okay, minus tangent squared of 57 degrees, which is the same theta. Okay. And I'm supposed to find the exact value of that. Well, look at this. This, you know, this perfectly matches my identity right here. So I know that secant squared of theta minus tangent squared of theta equals to one. 
So this equals to one. Okay, I hope you like this video and I'll do more soon. Thank you.